Alright, so this is uh, part 7 of the Dark Souls uh, walkthrough. And uh, basically we're back at Firelink Shrine. Um, unfortunately, my computer crashed while I was trying to make this video. Uh, so basically I'm just going to tell you um, what uh, you missed while uh, my computer just decided to fuck up. Uh, but thankfully, I didn't do too much uh, in my earlier attempt uh, to make this video. All I did was grab a key, but I'm going to show you how to grab that key now. So basically, you're going to want to jump onto here. And basically, you're going to want to come over here. You're going to want to come to this ledge, and this jump is going to be very tricky, but... You're going to want to jump off right at the last moment and uh, get up here, and it, it's going to be pretty tricky. And then uh, once you start crawling up or uh, walking up, you should uh, see that uh, you can't actually do it until you roll, but you have to roll basically very straight uh, and not fall off. So once you're up here, basically, you're going to come up here and basically... You're just going to, like, roll off onto that roof. Now, on that roof, right here, there's going to be a key on that corpse. You just pick up the key, and, uh, actually, I'm just going to go up here. You basically are just going to pick up a key. I already picked it up. Uh, that was part of what I was recording earlier. I actually recorded myself doing it, but then my computer crashed, and I had to restart it. Um... So yeah, uh, next up, you basically just want to jump back up here. Uh, if you miss this jump, which there is a chance that you could, you're just going to have to jump to this area again. Just don't jump onto the roof this time once you already get the key. Now, uh, we do need this key. This key is very important because we're basically trying to find a very important ring for uh, the next video, which is going to be Blight Town. Uh, now before we uh, go there, I'm just going to explore this area. Looks like there isn't much. Okay, so right here, we're going to curl up like a ball by pressing A. And basically, what this does is it uh, causes a bird to pick us up, but we just have to sit here for a little while. He should pick us up unless okay all right it takes a little uh, while for the bird to actually do it uh, but now we're back to the northern undead asylum which is the tutorial area in the game now that we come back here there is more stuff to do uh, okay so we have some uh, hollows uh, they're a little bit more dangerous this time they're holding torches uh, yeah, we just gotta, oh shit, okay, well, we just have to kill these guys. Yeah, as you can see, they're definitely more dangerous than the, uh, typical hollows that were here earlier. Now, we're not going to be doing everything in this area quite yet, just because some of it is going to be pretty difficult. We will be coming back here later in the game again but for right now we're trying to get one specific ring uh, so this is very important um, when you step into this room for right now do not step into the middle of the floor right here this area just stick to the sides uh, do not actually step onto uh, the middle of the floor we're going to go into this room just, uh, okay, they're following me. We're going to go into this room, uh, just to rest at the bonfire in case we die, so we don't have to do that annoying jump. Uh, thankfully leaving this area is a lot easier than coming back here, so we don't have to do anything difficult. But basically, uh, the reason I told you not to, uh, go onto this, uh, area on the floor is because there's a very difficult boss uh 
that we aren't really leveled up for. Uh, we ne would need a much uh, stronger weapon. Uh, but we are going to come and kill it later. Uh, if you want to give it a go, uh, you can. But just know that any souls you have might uh, might disappear. Obviously, if you have like no souls whatsoever, you know, there's really no point in you know saving them. But uh, I'm not going to be fighting him right now. But anyway, we're going to go into this area right here where we were early on in the game and uh, basically there's gonna be a black knight right here and I believe this is a black knight that also has a chance of dropping a weapon I'm not 100% sure but it looks like he carries the black knight sword which is a very good very powerful weapon uh, so yeah we just have to kill him this one is a little bit tricky uh, he is one of the harder black knights, in my opinion, just because, uh, I don't know why, but the black knights with, like, just a sword as opposed to, like, a halbert or a great sword, uh, these guys are the hardest to beat, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not too good at these ones. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, as you can see, I, I really don't like fighting these guys, and I'm dead. I'm not good at fighting them either <laughs> well we are gonna kill this guy I might just throw uh, some high romances at him uh, we're also going to try to get uh, as many of the item upgrade achievements as we can but basically I have a list of achievements to at least attempt uh, if you're not going for 100% completion then you don't have to do this, uh, but I'm gonna be, a uh, wrong area, wrong door, ah, fuck, yeah, whatever, we're just, we'll just stop at this bonfire, or we'll kill this, uh, black knight at the end here, I'm just gonna pull out my pyromancy flame, collect all those souls that I lost, Hopefully he drops a weapon, and, uh, there we go, hit him one time, okay, he's blocking now, that's not gonna work, okay, he doesn't block, oh, come on, bitch, okay, we're just, we're just going to use the strategy of, uh, Trying to stay... Okay, we're in water now. Do not go to the water. The water slows you down. Um, yeah, water will slow you down. Ah, shit. Now you, you got a hit on us. Yeah, these guys are fast, too. You have to, like... It's not super easy... Oh, I think there's another Black Knight over here, actually. I don't I don't want to go this way. Yeah, don't go this way either. You're pretty much stuck in that hall because there is another Black Knight over there. And uh, fighting him is not uh, easy when you have this guy chasing you. So we're basically just stuck fighting in this hall. Okay, so he does one, two. Okay, so we can hit him like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so he's going to hit us once. Place. Oh shit! He, he does that third one. Okay, what the fuck? Um, you know, I really hate it when these guys don't have a specific pattern they follow. Okay, I just have to hit him one more time. Okay, well I pressed the attack button. No, 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 drink, drink. Oh fuck me! You gotta be fucking kidding with this shit. Fuck you, cunt. All right, I fucking hate this guy. Come here, bitch. Yeah, it's time to fucking die already. Oh, 
Oh shit, 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 shit! Seriously, I hate how you can't cancel a fucking pyromancy and just dodge in the middle of it. Come here, bitch. Come on. Actually, I think... I, I just... I hate these Black Knights, honestly. Like, the, the ones with... Actually, what we're gonna do, actually, is we're gonna get him to come into here. And then we're gonna go up to these stairs. He's gonna... No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Well, I was trying to make him slower by getting him to come down here. Now we're just both uh, slower, so, you know, it's... Maybe... Will he come up here? No, he will. Okay, well, that's... Trying to think of a way to cheese this guy, but I don't think there's a way to do it. Okay, did three attacks. What the fuck? Where did that fourth come from? Seriously, I don't know what this fucking guy's doing. Like, holy shit. Like, he, half the time he does one attack, then he does, like, two, and then three, and now four. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this guy off with, uh, some pyromancies. There we go. That got him. And yes, we finally got a Black Knight sword. I am super happy now. Let's go. And now I don't have to, uh, level up my strength, uh, to 40. Actually, I'm gonna level up my strength, uh, to 40 anyway, but now we only have to get up to 32. Because I was going to use a weapon called the Dragon Tooth, which we will get later on in the game. But the Dragon Tooth, I think, is I think it actually takes 40 strength uh, to use one-handed. Uh, so let's go. We killed that Black Knight, and now we have one of the greatest swords. Uh, I'm not at the strength requirement uh, to use it yet, but. Uh, the Black Knight Sword is a very, very good weapon. Uh, all the Black Knight weapons are. Uh, this can easily carry you on uh, throughout the game. Uh, so I am happy that I have it now. Um, but yeah. Uh, after like looking up uh, the statistics... Uh, there are about, I think there are, there are at least four Black Knights. I think there are more than that. Like, I, I actually know there are more than that. Uh, but even if there's just four, you have like a 41% chance, something close to that number of not getting a weapon. Because, uh, okay, we have this guy here. I don't know what this guy is. Uh, he's not a Black Knight, as you can see, but uh, I think he's a bit more difficult than a Black Knight. Uh, I think I remember on my first Dark Souls playthrough, me just running away from this guy because I couldn't do it. But, uh, we're... Okay, he doesn't... He actually does not have that much health at all. He's gonna be probably easy to kill. He doesn't even do damage. Holy shit. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, I thought... Because I remember there's either another Black Knight here that I had trouble defeating, or, like, Somehow I couldn't beat this guy after killing that Black Knight over there, but we now have a Crest Shield. Uh, we already have a Grass Crest Shield. Uh, this shield right here is good for magic uh, dodging. Uh, the Crest Shield is also good for that, and uh, actually this one looks better. Uh, the Dragon Crest Shield also, I think, is good for magic, but basically... I just have this already. Actually, I think this just increases. Yeah, I'm only going to equip one shield at a time, actually, because by having them both equipped, I'm actually going a lot slower. There's a way to get up there and get that thing. Um, I think there may be another Black Knight here. There may actually be another Black Knight near this area. I'm going to go down here real quick and open this door. And uh, all I'm going to do now is uh, go up here. Oh shit, the ball comes back. What the fuck? 
Hi, I was not expecting that ball to come back down just because, um, just because it, uh, really was only there, uh, to knock that, uh, wall down, and that wall was already knocked down at, like, the very start of the game, but whatever. We'll kill this guy, and, uh, huh, it looks like there may be something to break that open, although I don't think so, that might just be design. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. Kill this guy. Alright, so now we're going into this room. Right here. There are gonna be two of these guys now, but, you know, they're not really that difficult. Come on. Oh man, every time I kill an enemy, I forgot I have that, uh, that ring on. Yeah, another thing that, uh, I probably should have mentioned, uh, I'm not putting on the Ring of Favor and Protection, um, quite yet. Just because Havel's Ring is a bit better. Uh, and, uh, we will be using various other rings, uh, to beat the game. But anyway, we're gonna go down here and basically, oh no, shit, okay. We got the Rusted Iron Ring, so that's, that's that guy right there, what we just, uh, collected. You know, I could have sworn there was, uh, something back here, but I'm not sure what. Uh, but anyway, this is the main ring that we were trying to get. Uh, basically, the rusted iron ring allows you to, uh, I don't know if it affects water. I'm gonna go to the water to see if I can show you what it does, but it's going to help us um, basically walk through mud, and we're going to an area in the next video that has a lot of mud, and you are going to be walking very, very slowly through it. It's going to be really, really annoying, um, unless, of course, you have this ring, and this ring will basically uh, fix that. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can because right here, as we go into the water, we go really slow. I'm going to see if this uh, does anything. Okay, see, it also works in water. So as you can see, with the ring on, I can move really fast through water. If I take it off, as you can see, I start walking really, really slow. So I'm equipping that ring just because it also helps with mud. And it also looks like I can... Level up in 4,000, so I just need two souls of a, don't have that one, we'll use one of these, or just, now eh, we can use four of these. Um, off camera, I did like just a, a little bit of soul farming, just a very small amount. Uh, basically all I did was I got my pyromancy flame up to plus four and then I got like one level in uh, something. Just uh, my vitality. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna need to get my strength up as well as my dexterity. I'm gonna look up real quick. Just uh, how which actually black knight sword I think I need 18 dexterity and 32 strength uh, to use it but I'm going to go see yeah so it does require 18 dex and uh, Once we get up to 18 decks, we can two-hand it, and I think it is um, 32. Actually, no, I think I don't think it's 32, actually. I think it's closer to 24. 
Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you this boss. We're probably not going to beat this boss, uh, but uh, we are going to come back to it later. There is also another Black Knight uh, after defeating that boss. Uh, these guys are just... Uh, but uh, this boss, uh, we definitely need a lot more health when fighting it. We also need a lot more endurance. Uh, yeah, we don't have nearly enough, but I'm going to show you anyway. I'm going to die, but you know, why not at least show you? So as you can see, we start off already taking damage by falling into the floor. Now this is basically a demon that is very similar to the Asylum Demon but it is much harder and it uh, uses these magic attacks that will very likely one shot you but yeah and I am doing not too much damage. I'm, I might be able to kill it if I'm like really really careful uh, again I do not th this is not a required boss to defeat uh, I do recommend defeating it at some point, just later on when we can do more damage, because I'm really not doing damage uh, to this uh, thing at all. So, uh, yeah, if you're new to the game, you are probably not going to be able to beat this boss at this level. I probably won't be able to beat this boss at this level either. Uh, I'm just showing you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to try again. But that's basically... Uh, that's basically the stray demon. We are going to come back here. And... Uh, kill it. Later in the game. But... Uh, it is good to come here to get that ring. And in addition to getting the ring, you also have another Black Knight that you could kill for a chance to get a very OP weapon that will carry you throughout the entire game. And it's also not too difficult to level up to plus 5. It goes up to plus 5. And at plus 5, it does a shit ton of damage. And uh, I'm actually going to get that to plus 5 uh, before we get to Sense Fortress, or, or at least during uh, Sense Fortress. Uh, there's a boss that... Uh, I'm not looking forward to that uh, hopefully I can kill easily with a plus five Black Knight weapon. Uh, first time I beat them, I beat them I think with like a plus one or a plus two Black Knight weapon. Um, so I should have a significant advantage uh, by using a Black Knight weapon. Um, so yeah, thankfully we did get one. Uh, there is still a chance because um, there are a limited amount, at least early on in the game. Uh, later on there are respawnable Black Knights, and you can get all the Black Knight weapons. Uh, but that's close to the very end of the game. So you can basically get all the Black Knight weapons really easily by respawnable Black Knights at the very end of the game. Uh, so yeah, that, that doesn't really help anybody at all. Uh, but yeah, we're back to Firelink Shrine. And uh, now we'll quick... I'm going to go to Andre. How many Twinkling Titanites do I have, actually? I have two. Alright, so I'm going to need to look for some more Twinkling Titanite. Uh, Twinkling Titanite is actually very, uh, very common in this game. There is a lot of it you can get. And I'm going to be showing you really where all the uh, crystal lizards are. Um, there is one in the Deep Root Basin that uh, hopefully you killed. Uh, we, that's how we got the two Twinkling Titanites, uh, from earlier, but, uh, now what I'm trying to do is just get my decks up to, uh, my decks up to 18, and I'm 
I'm not completely sure actually what strength uh, the Black Knight sword actually takes. I think it's 32 though, so uh, if it is, I'm going to have to do a lot of soul farming off camera. Uh, I'm not going to do the dragon soul farming uh, to do all that just because that is going to take a very long time. But I do need 18 dexterity. And I, I can at least uh, two-hand the weapon once my dexterity is at 18. And my dexterity is currently at 17. Uh, so yeah, you guys watching can uh, skip this part of the video if you want. Uh, I don't like doing this on uh, camera or like on video just because it's really, really boring. It's really 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 boring but I'm basically just going to come up here aggro the dragon come back down here I'm just gonna do that until and just to make it shorter I'm gonna use up uh, as many of these as I can just because I don't want to be doing this uh, forever, so I'm just going to use these. Oh wait, nope, wrong one. Okay. 1,000. 1,000. These are all 800. I just need uh, around 10,000 uh, souls. Yeah, I'm already to the uh, point of the game where I need 10,000 souls just to uh, level up. Okay, and how many do I need? Okay, so I just need to do this. Uh, Two more times. And I'm also going to definitely need my endurance uh, to get up as well as my vitality. Once I get uh, my strength up to hold the Black Knight weapon, what I'm actually going to do after that is I am going to get my endurance up to 40, my health up to 40, uh, once I can actually wield the, uh, once I can actually wield the, uh, sword in one hand, but I can two-hand it for a while. Uh, there we go. Dexterity up to 18. Alright. Um, Black Knight Sword. Actually, actually, no, I can wield it right now. Fine. Okay, so it is at 32. Yeah, there are a lot of weapons in this game, and a lot of the weapons I was looking at like start at like 32. Or like, uh, 40. So, I'm just getting, like, confused in all the various numbers. But it looks like I can actually use this, uh, flawlessly. I guess it's only 24 strength, uh, but I could have sworn it was... Maybe the Black Knight Greatsword is 32, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Either way, I got a Black Knight Sword, and I'm happy... This sword is actually better than the great sword, I think, because you can do more attack uh, and it takes less endurance, I believe. But now I'm going to get my vitality up and my endurance, and I'm going to go level up this guy now. I don't know. 
I am going this way. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the Black Knight, and I'm going to kill any enemies. I Or not the Black Knight, sorry, the uh, Blacksmith. I'm going to go to the Blacksmith, and I'm going to get um, as many souls as I can by killing enemies. And I'm going to get this. I think I can get this up to uh, plus two. Uh, but once I get it up to plus five, which uh, I will be doing, I'm going to have a very powerful uh, sword. Yeah, any crystal lizards you see, you want to kill them. Because Twinkling Titanite is very, very useful. This guy dropped a Titanite shard. Fuck yeah. Alright, these... Ramps right here. Yeah, Titanite shards are like, most of them are just random drops. You can buy some from Andre. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm also going to be attempting to uh, level up various weapons to get achievements. So you can like acquire best weapon through standard reinforcement, uh, through raw reinforcement. Uh, through magic reinforcement, uh, there's a lot of reinforcements uh, you can do, and I'm going to try to get as many as I can. Uh, any of them that I don't do, just for the sake of making this video series a bit shorter, is I, I might just uh, tell you how to do it, and then you can, because a lot of it is just going to be farming for souls and farming for loot. Uh, come on, I don't want to stop at this bonfire. There we go. I hate how this bonfire is just randomly inactive, and then you have to just guess when it's going to be active again. Uh, but anyway, let's kill this hollow. Uh, I don't know. If, should we try to kill this bull? I, I don't know if I want to try to kill the bull yet. Hey, I don't know if my weapon... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go see if I can do any real damage, but at some point... Okay, yeah, I can do some actual damage. I'm going to kill the bull. Uh, there are a couple more bulls in the game uh, to kill. Uh, okay, I'm almost dead. Fuck. Okay, it's because these guys are just shooting arrows at me while I'm trying to deal with this guy right here. But anyway, uh, there are some bulls in the game that actually are required, uh, you are required to kill a couple bulls, uh, to actually get through to an area later, uh, so this guy is good practice, because he's not nearly as hard to, uh, to kill as the ones later on in the game, but yeah, we killed that guy, just because he was making our job more difficult, but yeah, there we go. We killed the bull. Let's go. I think there's a chance he drops a, uh, he didn't drop it that time, but, uh, sometimes when you kill a bull, you get, like, a certain helm that's really good. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm just, uh, that bull does not respawn, by the way, so once you kill him, he is dead forever. The other bulls in the game, once you kill them, they are dead forever. Oh yeah, I think I think this is gonna one shot these guys once I can, cause I think, I see. Oh yeah, see that, they just got one shotted. Okay, do, 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 die. Okay, drink, drink, drink. There we go. Alright, we have 3,000 souls now. Alright, there we go. So now we're just going to talk to Andre. And, uh, we're going to try to see how reinforced we can get our new sword and uh 
twinkling titanite uh weapons uh basically weapons that use that upgrade material they uh they can only go to uh, plus five. Oh, we're gonna give a large ember to Andre. Uh, the large ember we found in the depths. Um, if you did not pick it up uh, earlier, you really should. Uh, it will basically allow for uh, for better weapons. But anyway, I'm gonna reinforce my. Uh... Yet yeah, it costs ten thousand souls to level up the drake sword like that is totally not worth it wow and it takes a dragon scale too wow oh this one though takes 2000 souls uh we need another i'm gonna get another uh 700 i should actually have that uh, i just have two of these 200 yeah, I need 2,000 more. Then I need to get some more Twinkling Titanite. I'm going to be on a lookout for that. But yeah, we just we just got this guy up a little bit. But yeah, once we get this uh, plus 5, it's, it's going to be a little bit uh, crazy. We're gonna go up here. Oh, oh, that's right. We didn't even. I didn't even rest at the bonfire. That's why they aren't respond. I was like, I was like, wait, why are they all dead? This isn't Dark Souls Two, where if you kill a bunch of enemies like twelve times, they just despawn forever. Yeah. Uh, in Dark Souls Two, which you know is like the worst. Dark Souls ever. Uh, in Dark Souls 2, when you kill an enemy like 10 to 12, 15 times, uh, different enemies have different amounts of times you can kill them, but if you kill an enemy enough times in Dark Souls 2, it basically despawns completely. It will not respawn. Uh, but yeah, in Dark Souls, uh, that's not the case. Anyway, we just need, all we need to do right now is get us up to 2,000, and we are at 2,000. Let's go. We're going to go down here again. We're going to go talk to Andre again. Give Divine. I'm not sure if I want to give Divine yet. I mean, we're not to the point where we're using um, Divine weapons. Uh, reinforce weapon. There we go. We're going to get this up in A. Yeah, we are going to need two more. I think it's two for this upgrade. It's going to be two for the next. And then it's going to be, I think, three... For the next one, maybe five, I don't know, but what I do know is that there is an abundance of uh, Twinkling Titanite, so. There we go, we're gonna find out if we can get that all right. Uh. Oh, so it looks like I just looked up where to get more uh, twinkling titanite. Uh, so basically, 
apparently there is a crystal lizard in the undead bird, which really does not make any sense whatsoever because I'm pretty sure I explored that entire area, but we're going to look for crystal lizard undead settlement, but it looks like uh, we know that's Dark Souls re All right, so it looks like, okay, all right, we're off to kill another crystal wizard. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get some more twinkling titanite and, uh, you know, this isn't, um, Super, super useful if uh, you don't use a weapon that needs twinkling titanite. But I'm going to be basically getting some more. And it actually looks like there is a chance to get it. I just looked up where to find it. And looks like we're making our way to the tower where we killed the uh, Taurus demon. So yeah, we're just gonna go over here. We're just gonna kill this guy. Just gonna kill this guy. Yeah, there we go. That's right. I have a Black Knight weapon now. Your shield doesn't do shit no more. Let's go. Yeah, I, I really, really, really like uh, the Black Knight weapons. Yeah, as you can uh, see right now, I am really, really uh, just going back and forth looking for upgrade materials. Uh, that is uh, part of what you, you uh, will probably have to do in the game. You can look up, uh, if you have different weapons, you can look up how to get different uh, upgrade materials. Right now all we have is a dragon scale, which we can't even use yet. Well, we can, but there's no way I'm dropping 10,000 souls in a dragon scale on the drake sword. That's just... That's not happening at all. Yeah, but yeah, we're heading back down to the sewers. Another thing, actually, you can do is, um, Upgrade if you don't have a Black Knight Great Sword, you can upgrade the Zwile Handler, um, which is a good weapon. You will have to upgrade it a couple of times, but it basically just uses uh, normal Titanite, and you have to kill these guys um, to get Titanite. But there is a way where at the uh, at the bonfire near the blacksmith, you can basically kill those. Uh, these guys here, and I'm going the wrong way. Um, but you can basically kill a bunch of those guys, as well as the bigger guys with bigger shields. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get a lot of Titanite and those Wild Handler. Um, its base damage is not nearly as good as 
the weapon I'm currently using, but you can actually uh, upgrade it to have really, really good attack damage. Yep, and as you can... Okay, that guy just dropped uh, some armor. But anyway, we're just going back to the tower where we... Uh, Actually, there is something we can... I, I missed a section, actually, that we should have went to in the first video. I missed an entire section up here, so I'm going to revisit it. Uh, yeah, there's an area up here. These guys uh, drop firebombs. Really, really annoying. Uh, I think they're the ones that uh, drop firebombs on you from here. Uh, but yeah, from here we can drop down. Uh, it does not look like there's actually anything too valuable up there, though. At least I'm pretty sure there isn't. Uh, wait, no, there is. Okay, that's right up here. That's where we want to go away, but it doesn't... Huh. Yeah, I don't think there is, uh... It doesn't look like there's anything to do up there uh, at all. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just uh, kill some more of these guys. And it looks like we're going to need... Uh, looks like we can already get our next uh, upgrade, though, because we already have our 2,000 uh, souls. Um, then I'm going to need to find even more uh, Twinkling Titanite. I don't even know where this guy came from. Okay, so it should be should be up here and it should be there we go. This is where the Titan or the uh, Crystal Lizard should be. I don't see him. What the fuck? Oh no, it's up here, that's why. Okay, I went to the wrong. There we go. I thought, I thought uh, someone online was fucking with me. Telling me where to... There we go, now we have two Twinkling Titanite. Let's fucking go. So yeah, now I can get this guy up to plus three. Which is uh, going to be really good. Um, another thing I'm going to mention is that uh, this should be obvious. But uh, if you have two weapons that uh, use the same upgrade material, you want to only upgrade one weapon at a time to get it to plus five or to whatever the max is before using uh, the rest of them on another weapon. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to run across here again, hopefully not get killed by the dragon. But yeah, it, it is, um, it's looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good. Yep, I just need to get two more upgrades after this, and I got shot in the face. Alright, I really hate how all of those guys just uh, start chasing you. It's really, really annoying.
Okay, why the fuck am I going this way? Man, I am like... I'm just trying to get back to Andre. I am like... Okay, now everyone is uh, chasing me. Whatever. We're, we're going up the ladder. And, uh... Yeah, we're basically just going to make our way back to Andre. <sighs> Alright, so it looks like we need a couple more Twinkling Titanite, but it looks like there should also be one in the depths that we missed in the Undead Berg, which we just got in the Undead Parish in the painted world of Ariamis. In, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at where the other crystal lizards, uh, will be. Because, yeah, there is definitely, there are definitely enough of them to, uh, get a plus five weapon before fighting, uh, the hardest boss in the game. Okay, come on. But yeah, um, I'm basically preparing myself and hopefully preparing all of you guys watching for- Oh, fuck that! I didn't even pay attention to the fucking rat. <sighs> gotta be kidding, that cunt just knocked me off the fucking map. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this shit. But anyway, I'm just preparing y'all, hopefully, for uh, the hardest boss in the game. I'm not gonna go into it or spoil it, but um, all I'm gonna say is that the reason this video exists is just to show you how to get this uh, twinkling titanite and how to upgrade things uh, So yeah, we're gonna go up here. Kill that guy. Yeah, see this area is like, it's so nice not having a ball here. Because he just charges at you, it makes, uh, makes it like really hard to go through. So I am glad that we killed him. Uh, but yeah, now we just, uh, gotta get up to Andre. Oh, come on. See, that guy just snuck up behind me and fucking backstabbed me. Fuck you, bitch. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well. Now we're going to go back to Andre. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we have, uh, some more Twinkling Titanite to get, and I'm also going to show you, um, how to upgrade other things as well. Um, I'm also going to upgrade a dragon weapon, just, uh, to show you how to do it, although the dragon weapons are going to be very hard uh, to use, but one of the dragon weapons is going to be, uh, we're going to get that later, uh, but it's going to take 40 strength uh, to wield. I do recommend using at least one of the dragon weapons if you cannot get a black knight weapon, but uh, we are going to need a lot of dragon scales, but I'm going to show you where to get those. But yeah, if, uh, if you don't get a black knight weapon, Man, this game is going to be really, really hard. Yeah, because I'm not even taking into consideration the health and the stamina. Just the strength. I, I really don't know. Um, yeah, because right now I don't want to rely on the chance of you getting a Black Knight weapon. And in order to use the 
really OP weapons. Um, we are going to need uh, a lot of strength, but putting a bunch of levels into strength is going to take it away from basically uh, everything else like uh, vitality and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, this now does 286 uh, physical damage. And actually, I'm also going to talk to Andre, you know, might as well actually um, level up the uh, Zlyle Handler. Uh, the Zlyle, or the Zly Hander, it doesn't actually have an L in there, but uh, yeah, you know, we're just, I'm going to get this up actually to uh, plus five. We don't have enough souls. Uh, Alright, so yeah, the Zlyle Handler, what you're going to want to do is if you don't have any other weapon, I'm just going to recommend using this. It's not nearly as good as the Black Knight weapons, but what I'm just going to do is get 800 souls really quick and just level it up to plus 5. I then think we can uh, do a different... Uh, I'm going to do a raw reinforcement. You can do a standard reinforcement if you like, but a standard reinforcement. Uh, actually, just look up the stats on that. Because uh, part of this game, you are going to want to know uh, at least what you're doing. Uh, and I'm not too familiar with the difference between raw and standard. I just need... I just know that I need to get at least one standard and one raw to get gamer score for it. And I'm trying to get uh, just uh, some of the gamer score. Uh, but yeah, these guys, uh, I uh, you can kill these guys over and over and over to get more titanite if you're low on titanite. Uh, but yeah, you can basically just kill those guys over and over again just uh, to hopefully get them to drop some uh, in a while. You can also uh, buy some Titanite from Andre, actually, which is the quicker way to do it because it's not random. Although I don't know if he sells unlimited Titanite or just... Um, Let's see. Purchase item. Okay. I think we might be able to buy unlimited from him. Uh, but yeah, let's go down to the uh, Zwile Handler. I mean, I keep mispronouncing their shit. I do not know why. Uh, yeah, now we can. Let's see if we can modify equipment. Yeah, we can. We do need a large... Titanite shard. We can use. Okay, so we have a. So yeah. So now, now that the Zwei Hander is up to plus five, uh, we can basically upgrade it further. So this is going to be standard reinforcement Zwei Hander plus six. This is going to be a raw Zwei Hander, which basically what a raw does is it uh, it increases the damage output significantly, but it basically gets rid of uh, scaling. So basically the higher your uh, strength is or dexterity is, some weapons will basically... Uh, do more damage output depending on your strength level so every time you level up strength it increases uh, the uh, output but if you do raw reinforcement you get a much higher raw uh, attack as you can 
see this one is 225 if we upgrade it this way but if we upgrade it this way it's only going to be 208 but it's going to have scaling so when you get your strength up or your dexterity whatever it is it's going to do more damage than 208 and then uh divine divine basically allows us to uh to basically kill skeletons if you kill a skeleton with a divine weapon it will not respawn um we're going to uh at least want a divine weapon i am gonna have to well, i'm gonna have to do a lot of farming off screen um for those of you who want to get a 100 percent completion of the game you're going to have to do every type of reinforcement. You're going to have to do a standard reinforcement. You're going to have to do a raw reinforcement. You're going to have to do a divine reinforcement. Uh, I'm not going to collect all the materials on screen. You don't need to collect all the materials uh, to actually do it. Uh, I'm going to get 800 more souls first really quickly so I can... I'm going to use raw reinforcement for the Zui Hander, just, uh, oh, I didn't even stop at the fucking bonfire, and I really need to stop doing that, okay, but, uh, I'm also going to be looking for some more, uh, some more Twinkling Titanite for my weapon, but the, uh, Zui Hander is the best bet if you don't have a... If you don't have a Black Knight weapon, if you have a Black Knight weapon, just use that. Yeah, so you can just use that. All right, I had to do something like just really, really quickly. Uh, sorry about that. Um, all right, so anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some more uh, Twinkling Titanite. Best way to find those are the Crystal Lizards. Uh, and there is actually a crystal lizard in the catacombs. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. And there is one in the great hollow as well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but there is also... Okay, so there's a crystal lizard in Blight Town, and there's a crystal lizard in Sen's Fortress. Okay, so. And there's also one in New Londo Ruins, it looks like. It looks like there is one in the upper area, too.
All right, so anyway, uh, that's going to uh, actually before I finish the video, I'm just going to do a raw reinforcement. Uh, I would actually recommend doing a raw reinforcement uh, because uh, the reason why is because I'm going to be telling you or not really telling you but just recommending you can do whatever you want obviously but I'm gonna recommend that you get your endurance and vitality up at this point uh, because uh, basically doing a raw reinforcement will be very beneficial if you don't have high strength or high dexterity Uh, so anyway, here I'm also gonna like get my health and endurance up, uh, really as much as I can. And the uh, next video we are going to go to Blake Town. And did you look at that? I even found a uh, Titanite shard. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get best weapon through raw reinforcement uh, and uh, yeah that's uh, gonna be the end of this uh, hour-long video yeah these videos are getting a bit longer Gonna go to raw Zwei hander. Okay. And we just got it ascended. We also can um, undo it for eight hundred uh, souls, it looks like. But now I think if we go to Reinforce Weapon, we should see Raw. Yeah, we do. And now we're going to need... Yeah, so once you ascend a weapon, you can just upgrade it again. And now we're just going to need some large Titanite uh, shards. But yeah, that'll go up to 240 and then higher and higher and higher and higher um so yeah uh, for the next video we're going to be going through blight town i'm going to look up how to get the crystal lizard there uh but yeah anyway that is uh the end of our video thank you for watching part seven is now done